So welcome back to GSL peeps and today I'm gonna show you how to remove a glove box I don't know what the hell I was thinking back then but it is not the <laughs> glove box removal it's head in it removal so let's continue on a BM, uh, BMW <laughs> it's not a BMW it's a Mercedes E-Class uh, 2012 Cabriolet 250 and uh, basically when you go here that's what your dashboard looks like it's a bit different to the other E-classes more likely due to being an E-Cabriolet uh, Cabriolet, but this is the front setup because on the other ones the vents go like sort of different shaped so I'm going to show you today how to remove this type of head unit and all stuff like that. So before I set my camera up, because I won't be able to really show you correctly and properly close up, I'll explain just what you will have to do. <clears throat> so you get in the car and uh, First thing what you need to do to remove this head unit is to get the vents out. And to get the vents out on this car, if you shine the light there in the... I don't know if I'll be able to show this properly. Yeah, that's the tab that you're looking for, basically. That one there, on the side. It's basically on the second vent. So you need to grab a screwdriver or something like that, stick it inside, on the side, and then so you can see how it pulls up. That releases the clip of the vent, and you've got exactly the same one on the other side as well, in there. <coughs> so when you pop them off, you'll be able to pull this whole unit out. And then there's going to be two screws well basically one screw this side one screw on that side to release the head unit so it can slide out so i'm gonna try and set this up and uh trying to show you how to do it so give us two seconds right so to remove the vents like i was saying you've got to look at these sides and pick that little tab that's holding in and then just stuff your prey to and it pops out <coughs> one side and then you do the same with the other side and then pray that off and this whole thing comes off well make sure that the other side doesn't work in like what it just did for me there we go so that's the vent is off and uh, you have a bunch of cables in there that you just disconnect like so there's one in there as well a little tiny one like that so now you remove this part you've got two screws like I was saying there I'm gonna try to show you something now <laughs> so basically if you go in there you can see there's a screw in there yeah when it focuses that's the one screw and then there's another one on the opposite side exactly the same place so you need to unscrew them to seconds so you need to unscrew them to get off the release the head unit because that's what it holds on to so you're more than likely gonna need a little ratchet like that and uh, it's T15 that you need to use Oh no, sorry, T20. So you get in there, 
and start undoing it. It will take some time to get them off, but I just keep feeling it and that <coughs> and then the head and it just pulls out. Just as easy like that. And then basically you've got all the cables and everything. So the first one is right on the bottom here. That is for the heated seats and all the controls if you've got them. So just unclip that. It just pulls off like that. There's a little tab you press down and just pull it off. And then it will give you a little bit more headroom to work on. <coughs> then from the bottom press it down and release the big plug. And now as you can see there's the plug so you just basically just press that little tab and it will release it. Press that, get that out, and then what you've got left is the monitor. If you've got a screen in the middle, like that, and then obviously all the aerials and all the other modules, what you've got. Simple. That's it. <coughs> so one, two, three, four, <coughs> and a little connector and there, uh, five. And that's basically your head unit is out. And then for whatever reason you removed it, you've got plenty of access for for everything to do so. So basically this is how you remove the head unit. Not like on other E classes, you've got this big trim that goes in here. You've got to unplug the, the, the special tabs that you've got to pull down and then remove the whole trim piece, and then you get access. On this one, it's a little bit different. So, but this is basically the how you remove the head unit from a 2012 E class convertible. And uh, all I've got to say is now, thanks a lot for watching, like and share, subscribe and uh, follow for more. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.